Your Daily 180, 180 Seconds of Pure Bible Study. All right, we're in John chapter 3. We're talking about this man, Nicodemus. And Jesus told him in verse number 5 that one must be born of water and the Spirit, otherwise he cannot enter the kingdom of God. Now, what's interesting about this is I'm making the point that Nicodemus gets it. We went back to chapter 1, verse number 24 and 25, it's the Pharisees that send someone to John the Baptist and ask, why are you baptizing? They didn't say, what is baptism? What is this weird thing you're doing? Why didn't they say that? Alfred Edersheim, and I'll put this chart in the notes of the, um, of the feed when this day goes up. Alfred Edersheim makes the point that the Jews practiced a form of ceremonial immersion. But it was for Gentiles, not for Jews, because you see the Jews' favorite conceit was that they were uh, the seed of Abraham. They were Abraham's descendants. Gentiles, on the other hand, they needed a rebirth. As a matter of fact, if a Gentile was immersed to become a Jew, it was said it's a new life. They used vocabulary very similar to the vocabulary of the New Testament. Nicodemus would have been familiar with all this. Then what's so insulting to Nicodemus about this? It's not a big deal to say that Gentile out there who's been living an unclean life and eating unclean food and on the outside, it's, it's all right to say he needs to be born again. But me, I'm an insider. I'm a ruler of the Jews, and you're saying to me, in essence, Jesus is saying, to put it in terms that might be come a little closer to home, Jesus is saying to Nicodemus, Mr. Ph.D. in religion, Mr. Ph.D. in theology, you've got to go back to kindergarten. You've got to start all over again. Now, here's what's amazing. Look down at verse 10. Jesus said to him, are you the teacher of Israel? And do not understand these things. You get it? Jesus is saying, you should understand this. Now, here's the big point that I want you to see. This is really an assault on Nicodemus' pride. That's the whole thing about baptism. Baptism says, I can't do it on my own. I have to die to self. I have to be united with Christ in baptism for the forgiveness of sins. Acts 22 and verse 16. These are the very words of Paul, formerly Saul of Tarsus, he tells how the preacher Ananias came to him and said, and now why are you waiting? Arise and be baptized. What happens when you're baptized, Paul? Washing away your sins. Arise and be baptized and wash away your sins, calling on the name of the Lord. The act of calling on the name of the Lord is not necessarily something audible, but it's an action that says, through your actions, I'm trusting you, God. I'm trusting you to do what you said you would do when I do what you commanded me to do. Nicodemus is very, very religious, but he had a pride problem, and he had to overcome that pride so he could obey God. Join us again tomorrow for your daily 180.